As a photographer or as a retoucher, we don't want our work to look unprofessional or look like a beginner because we want prospective clients to see our work, like our work, and want to work with us. So I'd like to share three top tips to consider avoiding when retouching or editing your image. And I'll share practical steps you can take to improve your retouching. Let's jump right into it. Tip number one to avoid your photos looking like a beginner is applying lots that don't fit your image. Imagine I bought a lot online and I want to apply it to this image right here. There's hundred percent chances that the lot is not going to fit this image. So let me just show you. So I just come to my adjustment layer, click on color lookup table and click on load 3 lots and just click on load lots. And from here, let's say I want to apply this lot and I just load this lot. You can see right now, the lot is not going to fit this particular image. It may fit another image, but for this particular image, it's not going to fit. Now here's what you can do instead. Get a reference image. So for this image, this is the reference image I want to use to color grade this image. So this is the reference image. This image was edited by Pod Imagery. So I'm going to use this image as a reference image to color grade this image. So you can use any adjustment slider inside of Camera Raw, Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop, anyone just use any adjustment slider and just try and get this kind of color grading right here i did exactly what i'm telling you right now for 80 percent of my images including this image right here so this one right here is reference and this one right here was what i did and i'm going to be 100 percent through with you at first you are not going to get it and if you keep doing this over time you are going to get good at color grading and you're not going to need random lots to color grade your image and don't get me wrong, lot is really good if you have the right lot because it's going to make your workflow faster and your color grading more easier. Tip number two to avoid your photos looking like a beginner is making your photos look too smooth. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Smooth image doesn't mean the image is well retouched. It just makes the image look unrealistic and look fake and look plastic, more like an AI generated image. If you are still doing this, I totally understand and I get you. I mean, I did the same thing when I started retouching. In fact, here is a photo I edited in 2021. You can see how fake and how plastic it is. So I totally understand you. Now to avoid getting your image to look plastic or look fake, you can either use Micro Dodge and Bond to retouch your image. But if you don't know how to use Micro Dodge and Bond, you can use a high focus separation blur radius. Because when you use a high focus separation blur radius, you are going to retain texture of your image. Whereas if you use a low focus separation, you are going to have a smooth image. Let me quickly explain that so you can see. So let me just delete everything I did for this image and just come to my frequency separation. And let's say I use a low focus separation for this image. Let's use a low focus separation of about three to retouch this image. You are going to see the image is just going to look fake and look too smooth. So pick my mesa brush too. If I just brush on this image right now, just take a look at the image just going to look too smooth and it's just going to look fake, okay? Alright, so if I just turn on my high focus layer again, now you can see, if I just zoom in, you can see how smooth the image is looking and how plastic it is. So, this is the before and this is the after. That is because I use a small blur radius. Now, let's use a high focus separation blur radius and see the difference. So, I come back to my action again, click on focus separation. This time, let's use a radius of about 15 and hit OK. So if I just paint with the focus separation blur radius of 15, the image is not going to look too smooth and it's not going to look too plastic and too flat and look fake, unlike the first one we did before. Alright, let me go show you the before and after so you can see. Alright, so now you can see, this is the before and the after. The before and the after. The image is not looking plastic, it's not looking fake, we still have all the textures and it looks realistic. So this is how you can avoid getting your image to look too smooth or look plastic. So for my third tip to avoid your photos looking like a beginner is to be patient while retouching and learn more. The problem is a lot of us photographers and retouchers don't want to spend time retouching an image. We just want to quickly retouch the image and just post it online as soon as possible. As the end, after posting the pictures online, we start to see what we could have done better if we are just a little bit patient. Also, we don't want to learn. What worked last year might not work this year. So we have to be attending classes, paying for courses, watching YouTube videos. Just keep learning if you want to improve your retouching. Just keep learning. Because as a creative, the only way we can get better is by learning. I hope you find this information useful. I shared 10 tips for retouching. Click here to watch that video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.